Anderson on BBC Sound. Morning. Come and have a seat. Now, of course, I'm not going to go easy on you. There are some okay, really big questions we've got to try and get answers to this morning. But I'll be fair. And we, we just want to hear what you've got to say. So, shall we get on with it? We're rolling. Here we go. Join me to hear from the biggest names inside and outside politics. Sunday with Laura Koonsberg. Watch on BBC iPlayer. from London, this is BBC News. In the UK, the Prime Minister is considering a report on allegations of bullying against his Deputy Prime Minister, Dominic Raab. I'm Nancy Kachingira in Westminster. It's a waiting game here. A report that's taken five months to produce is now in Rishi Sunak's hands, and so is the future of one of his key political allies. SpaceX's first uncrewed test flight ends in explosion nearly four minutes after a successful liftoff in Texas. And a rare solar eclipse wows the crowds in Australia, including astronaut Tim Peake, who has spoken exclusively to the BBC. Hello and welcome. I'm Marianne Mashiri. We start with a big story here in the UK. The results of an investigation into allegations of bullying by the UK's Deputy PM, Dominic Raab, have been delivered to Rishi Sunak. Well, the Prime Minister is said to be carefully considering the findings before deciding whether Mr Raab broke ministerial rules. Dominic Raab, who is also Justice Secretary, denies bullying staff and says he's always behaved professionally. Well, let's cross live now to Nancy Kashingira, who is at College Green for us and following all the latest. Nancy. Thank you, Mariam. It's certainly a waiting game here. It's been about three hours now since we first heard that uh, Rishi Sunak had received this report and we understand that he is now considering what to do with it. Of course, this is a decision that could have several political repercussions. And as we wait the outcome of this inquiry, it will be published. The public will be able to see what this inquiry says and will therefore be able to make a judgment of Rishi Sunak's own judgments on this. So a lot hinges on it. But first of all, let's get you up to speed again with why and how we got here in the first place. To do that, here's our reporter, David Wallace Lockhart. Dominic Raab has been the subject of an investigation since November. Eight complaints involving 24 people. That's 